a melody that's always been uh, important in my life is from Dvorak's Eighth Symphony. And it's the, it's the opening of the first movement, played by the entire cello section. It's a haunting folk melody. But the reason it's, it has extra significance for me is that it's the first orchestral recording I ever heard and owned. It was an old LP conducted by George Sell. It was this piece, and this is the melody. Although I can be soloistic in my playing, I, I really was um, not focused on a solo career, ever. Uh, I love to, to play solo parts and to play chamber music with a few of my colleagues. Um, but in terms of traveling the world and checking in and out of hotels, uh, no. I've never really been interested in that. We have... Um, so many fine cellists who uh, are trying to get careers going. It's, it's amazing. In fact, when I was in uh, summer camp, uh, my roommate was Yo-Yo Ma. Oh, good. Okay. So you can see there that <laughs> I appreciated that there was a difference between the two of us. I knew I was good, but then there was Yo-Yo Ma. I'd love to play a passage from uh, Richard Strauss's tone poem entitled Don Quixote uh, because it is the most important orchestral solo cello part. And the action at this point of the music is um, Don Quixote is staying awake in a vigil at night, guarding over his faithful friend Sancho Panza, who is played, uh, portrayed by the solo viola in the music, and he's also checking his weapons for the next day's imaginary battles, and he dreams of his beautiful Dulcinea, the woman of his dreams. 